Hi guys, Creative Lori here, welcome. Well, thank you for coming back. And if you're new to my channel, I am sort of new to food bank hauls. I, um, I, went, I started going in October of last year, I believe. The thing is, um, I should have gone sooner. And if you need help, you guys, please don't hesitate to go. I know a lot of people have said, oh, your kitchen looks really nice. Yeah, everything is over 20 years old. I got when I had the money. Some things were gifts like my water tea kettle and that, um, what is it called? Pod, coffee pod maker that I bought. And, um, gosh, you guys, you know, I, I would say don't judge anyone because you never know when you're going to be in a situation. And if you are in a situation, don't be afraid to go. I wish I had gone sooner. I really wish I would have gone sooner. And it's all about, I guess, being afraid of, or being afraid that you're going to be judged. Or, you know, um, I don't know, the people there might say something, but they don't. Because if you go into food banks, they don't look at your income to debt ratio, which I know some programs do, but they don't. Um, so look into it on your county page and don't be afraid. You don't have to tell anyone. I'm telling you guys so you can benefit. Yeah, I do get judged. <laughs> But don't worry about it, you know, just go get something if you need it. So I didn't get very much this time because I went, I went at a good time, but there were so many people I was able to get in line, but, and they were moving fast. It's just that they didn't have very much. So <laughs> let's go right to left. I always start left to right. So here we got um, some low fat milk. And I know one of them is going to go to my um, tenant and the other two, I don't know, because my dad already has milk. I could freeze it, of course, but I was thinking of freezing it in ice cubes. What do you guys think? So every time I have a recipe, I know how much, you know what I mean? I can freeze it and um, just take two, three cubes out, so on, so forth. So I think that's what I should do, but let me know in the comments below. So I got three of them. That's really great. And then here's some decor I have for Memorial Day and over here too, because I was trying to fill in what I didn't have as far as like a haul. And guys, you know what? This is all the stuff I, that was a gift. That was a gift from my dad. This was from the Dollar Tree that I had years ago. I bought that years ago, those years ago, those lights years ago. So um, it's nothing that I'm buying currently because I can't. I just absolutely can't. But let's keep moving on. But I wanted to decorate and fill in, fill in the gaps. <laughs> so I'm going to probably keep this up until after 4th of July. All right. So the next here, I oh, and I got that at thrift at a thrift store. I got six Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, um, and this is great for the homeless because I do have some milk left for them, so they can literally just pour into the bowls. I think that's great. I know it's not healthy, but you know it fills their stomach and it's sweet and it tastes good. So they're gonna get that and I have milk to give them. I did get 20 packages of Pocky. Now, if you're not aware of what Pocky is, it kind of tastes like a fortune cookie made into a stick that's dipped into chocolate. Now, I've been craving chocolate. I don't know why, but um, I'm super happy to have this. I haven't bought Pocky in probably about 18 years. Just to give you an example, I am really disciplined when it comes to like, you know, treating myself. Um, so, wow, I'm super happy with that. Honestly, I think I might keep four of them out 
and then freeze the rest. I don't know if I should. I'm not really sure, but I'll, I'll think about it. Anyways, um, I'm really happy about it. <laughs> and I'm happy I got this for the homeless because I do have some milks left for them. So that'll be great. Um, okay, here. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I got four skinless, boneless chicken breasts for my dad. And it's three pounds. So I'm gonna split it in half and um, put two in one bag and two in another because my dad, you know, he's by himself. He eats meat, I don't. So that'll make a nice stew, he said. We already talked about it. And they're individually frozen so they're not sticking to each other, which is really great. And um, he'll put carrots because he has carrots. He has cabbage. He has uh, I think frozen peas and broccoli, and I think he even has frozen cauliflower. So, and he can add some legumes to that. So that'll be a really nice meal. Well, it'll be a crock pot, a big crock pot, like as wide as this, but you know, deep, big. And so he's super excited. <laughs> I am too for him. And so he'll have another portion that he can like maybe I don't know bake or pan sear whatever he wants to do but he specifically said he wanted to make a stew so that was so wonderful so I guess the moral of the story is you know get there early you guys get there early um that's why I've been building up my you know everything that I get from them because sometimes you miss out Sometimes I don't go because I'm sick or what happened, whatever has happened to me. And, but mainly it's, you know, I've been sick, I got injured and then they were closed for the holidays. So it all builds up, you know, so take advantage of the bulk that they give you, um, like the milk. And last week I got potatoes. Oh my gosh, you guys were so great. You guys were so great in telling me how to cook it and preserve it. I have made, I have I feel like I've been so creative with it. And I've done hash browns, soup, um, baked potatoes. Now, not all for me, like I've frozen some of it. The hash browns I ate right away. And the soup my, did, my dad did have, um, but gosh, you guys, it has been, I didn't, I guess I didn't realize how good potatoes are. They're very substantial for someone who is lacking in food. Potatoes and rice. You add beans to it or, you know, if you have one of the two, potatoes and rice, wow, that's a great starch. And then if you have legumes and spices, you can make all sorts of things. And if you get lucky enough to have like a little bit of fresh greens, oh yeah. So I would like to hear down below in the comments what you would do with the milk. I'm gonna freeze it in ice cubes, I think. That's gonna take me a while. So I think, yeah, it's gonna take me a little while. I don't know if I can do all of it. I, I would love your um, input, honestly. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. I love you all. Have a wonderful Memorial Day. And I hope you like the decorations. <laughs> I will see you all later and have a blessed day. Bye-bye, you all. Have a good one. Bye.